What is good? Diamond Knight is Steve, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video, man. Today, we have Mr. Clarence NYC, baby. And we got motherfucking Chris Sales in a building, man. Am I going to box Black Ice for 100 mother friggin' dollars man we're gonna see exactly what's going on here i'm not gonna lie to you guys i already seen this video i've already seen this vid but a lot of you guys kept spamming me to react to this video so what do i have to do i gotta come back like for flats on a cadillac and react to this motherfucking video a second time because i've already seen it but anyway guys make sure you like this video turn on your post notifications make sure that you comment down below all of your thoughts because i want to know what you're thinking okay i want to know what's on your mind Okay, I want to know if you're getting better with time like wine. I also want you to make sure you tell a friend and tell a friend and tell their angel mama, tell their uncle Joe. He's still a hoe. Let's get right into this video, man. Let's get it. Sheesh. What's up, y'all? It's your boy Clarence and YC. Welcome back to my reaction channel. Welcome yeah. back, welcome back, welcome back. And today's back. video, I'm feeling good. I feel amazing. I'm in feeling a good, feeling great. Mood. This nigga high as shit. And high as shit in that <laughs> booth. Evidently. Evidently, Chris this fake stupid. beer sales dropped a video last night. Evidently, saying Chris versus Clarence boxing match, Honey <laughs> K Cash for winner. Honey K Cash, Clarence, and Honey K Cash. Before I, we get into this, I just want to say, Chris, <laughs> he's not fighting. You gotta bro. keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta keep your hands to yourself, bro. That, like this is why you're in this predicament. Like, hey, this <laughs> look, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna just say this. All right. I can understand why Clarence wouldn't want to take him up on that offer. All right. Okay. First of all, that's CJ's dad. All right. And then CJ and Legend are probably going to look back at that fight and be like, what the hell was our parents doing, bro? This shit is crazy. All right. So that could cause, you know, some issues or whatever the case. I'm going to be 100% totally honest, though, guys. I would love to see it. Comment down below if you would love to see. I would love to see it. Just so you know, I was going to say a friendly boxing match, but a friendly competition in the boxing ring, 1v1, mono versus imano. Does that even make sense? Does that mean man versus man, versus man in a ring? Okay. I'm going to say this. Chris definitely has the height advantage and reach advantage. However, Clarence don't look like he no punk neither. He kind of stocky. You know what I'm saying? He got some meat on his bones. And if you get hit by one of them things, you might just drop, okay? So let me know in the comment section down below. Who y'all got your money on? We already know this shit is not happening. This is, this is, it's not a pretty boy Fredo and DDG situation. This is a totally different situation. However, we already knew that Fredo and DDG weren't going to end up boxing. So in this case here, just for shits and giggles, let me know in the comment section down below. Who would y'all put y'all's money on, okay? Say... If you could make a bet, you could place a bet, $5 bet, okay? You place a $5 bet. If you lose, they take your $5, right? If you win, you win a million dollars. Who are you putting your money on? Let me know in the comment section down below who it would be, all right? This is why this is this is <laughs> happening to you. You know what I mean? Like This is, this this is why is stupid, you, you, you got to keep, you gotta keep your anger... This bring me back to my smoking days, yo. Hold on, let me get serious a bit. You gotta, you gotta keep your anger and and your hands to yourself. <laughs> I always say that though. Keep your hands and feet inside your own vehicle, bitch. Keep your hands to yourself. Why do niggas feel like they they have to motherfucking like your um your like your emotions? You got to learn some type of self control. You have to learn how to maintain your emotions or, or like, fucking do something to where you don't get so riled up. To where you feel like you have to physically harm somebody or physically put your hands on somebody, bro. That shit's not tough. It's not tough. The tough person is able to walk away. The tough person is able to ignore certain shit, okay? Don't get me wrong. If you put hands on that tough person or if you get too close to that tough person with a certain type of energy... That tough person is probably going to spur off on your ass, okay? And at that point, you ask for it. Anyway, guys, let's continue. This is exactly... This nigga's going to start, the, the, video, video. start right the video, bro. Start the video. Um, make sure you smash that like button. Make right. sure you leave a comment. Let's, let's, let's get right you into it. You said it in your last zone. 
Right you started here. boxing when you was, um, <laughs> what this kid said? When you was young and insecure, you started boxing. You 0-3 right now. You lost all three fights. To, to, there's three females. You lost all of them. That's tough. <laughs> That's tough. That look good. <laughs> Don't do it to him, Claire. Don't do it. Like the, oh, the Don't do it to him, man. Oh, okay, this is better. I was wondering why my shit. I haven't seen my shit. I've never seen a nigga look in the camera so much and check himself out. That's a true life. fact. Anytime he start doing that, I just want to skip over it because I'm like, dude. I can understand. Loving yourself, okay? I can understand liking how you look. But to be all up in the camera, like a female, taking selfies, is crazy to me. But who am I to judge, right? Let him be him. I'm going to let Chris be great, all right? Not speak to the camera and just stare. I'm going like, to let Chris be great. It's like cringy, bro. To me, it feels weird. Like, even when I'm taking a selfie or I'm doing, like, a video or whatever the case, I feel real cringy in general. I feel like it's a cringy thing. Selfies are a cringy thing, bro. Let me know in the comment section down below if y'all feel the same way, but do you ever feel weird, like, snapping pictures of yourself like that? You know what I'm saying? This shit is just weird to me. I don't know what it is, guys. I don't know. It just seems so conceited, like, so so arrogant. Such an arrogant thing for somebody to do. Like, we're all sitting around like, ooh, look at me. Oh, wow. Mm. And, and don't get me wrong, I do it too. But I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I be feeling cringy as hell because I'm like, yo, who are you, bro? Who are you, bro? You're not that cool, okay? <laughs> you are not that cool, like this bro. This is every vlog. I Mom, promise. This kid never grew up since... It is every vlog. Since the Chris and Queen days. He That's never a fact. Up All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and get to the parts where he's talking about boxing them and shit. I don't want to hear the song that we didn't heard a million times, guys. So I'm going to just go ahead and, and, and fast forward this shit right quick. All right? So let's get it. Because Frank Duff. Uh, Man, I'm just saying, if for people, some people are saying, yo, leave him alone, like, he's already done, he's already, like... Look, at this point, y'all are bad brothers, okay? You're not the Smash Brothers, you're not the Splash Brothers. You're the Super Bag Brothers. Comment down below, hashtag Bag Brothers, if you made it up to this point. Hashtag Bag Brothers, all right? At this point, keep running it up together. I'm not mad at Clarence that continues to react to Chris. I ain't mad at Chris continuing to react to Clarence at the end of the day. What are they doing? Making bags. It's a whole lot of bag shit going on, okay? Hashtag bag brothers. You know, he's already finished. You know, he's already struggling with like... I nigga, I tried to leave him alone. I tried, <laughs> he said I tried to leave him alone. Exactly. He, hey, Chris does be knowing what he's doing with these videos. Like, Clarence, I don't think, had another reaction in him. But Chris just had to post Chris versus Clarence boxing match. 100K cash for winner. Like, Clarence wasn't going to respond, okay? But Chris knows what he's doing because he wants to keep up this feud. He wants to keep these back-to-back -back videos coming up like this. Because this is actually helping his channel. It's helping Clarence's channel for sure, and it's helping Chris's channel as well. So win-win, Bag Brothers. Why are you in this position? Whoever win out the most rounds, we, we could do we could do about however much, a hundred thousand. I see he made a good amount of my name. I see he made a good amount of money off my name. I don't get how you could say I make a good amount off your name <laughs> if you can't even make that off your name. Look, look, he was better off saying that you made a lot of money off of Queen's name, but he gonna say you made a lot of money off of my name. All right. Now, granted, I feel like they're all making money off of this situation in general. They made money off of the Queen of Lies. They made money off this modern guy situation. They making money feuding back and forth, you know, with each other. So at the end of the day, like I said, they are back brothers. They are. Clarence is, de Clarence is definitely helping Chris get to his bag. 
Chris is definitely helping Clarence get to his bag, okay? Because without Clarence reacting to Chris's videos, he wouldn't have had those extra, what? He probably got uh, almost a milli views collectively, if not more than a milli, of reactions that he has done of Chris and his videos and his music videos and shit like that. He's got well over probably a million views off of Chris's videos, all right? So Chris kind of does have a point. Also, Chris owes Clarence, well, they don't owe shit to nobody. They're bad brothers at the end of the day. But Chris has made money off of Clarence's name as well and the drama going on with him. So, look, I feel like Chris just wants to keep this going so he can stay a hot topic, so this can stay a hot topic type of thing. And I'm enjoying it. I'm sitting back. I'm relaxing. I'm enjoying watching these videos, guys. I know you guys are too. This shit is hella entertaining, to be honest. That's what we all come on YouTube for, right? Just to have a little fun. Lay back, deep breathe after a long days of work, right? Niggas just trying to sip some tea, motherfucking. Niggas just trying to, you know what I'm saying, drink their kombucha or motherfucking drink their vodka or Sprite or, you know, shout out to Freaky Friday. Let me know what you guys have on the agenda for this beautiful Friday, man. It looks super nice outside. I don't know, guys. I'm thinking about maybe taking my girl indoor rock climbing. Let me know if that'll be a vibe. But I feel like it would be very different because we do the same old shit. If you watch my Instagram story, nigga, we're always going out to eat, okay? We're always Netflix and chilling. So I'm thinking, man, a little indoor type of vibe, mountain climbing, rock climbing type of vibe. That would be something different, interactive, you know, some shit like that. Let me know what your plans are for this beautiful Friday, man. Let's wrap it up. Look at this thing. <laughs> Damn it. Stay right here. My laptop how could you, keeps falling. Like, how, how could you think of what? Like, I can't estimate how would you made You think it said, nigga, what? Nigga, what? I feel like you got a smooth 30. I feel like you got a smooth 30. Most you've had Look, in a I'm while. not speaking on what nobody makes, good, okay? It's not your name, King. That ain't got shit to do with me. You feel me? But it's cool. As long as you provi just, provide it's, it's, for it's your just family. The, it's, it's the moment, you know what I mean? And It is the moment. Let me just That's let okay. them. Okay. Congratulations, brother. Congratulations, <laughs> twin. But if y'all trying to, if y'all want to see that fight, let me know. Go spam home right now if y'all trying to see that fight. Boxing match. Meet Claire Bear boxing match for... <laughs> I'm gonna end this video right here, but again, you know, you know me. Let me, let me, let me put this mic a little closer. You know, you guys know me. Hold on, let me get, let me get the background. I need, I need him to be there. Cause I want to talk to him. I want to talk to him personally. Personally, come on, yeah, this kid. Let me let me motivate the streets real quick. You guys know I'm, I'm a motivator, and I have a question for Mr. Chris, A.K.A. Mr. Bad Beard. Mm. When I was in the basement, right? When I was in the basement, would you have boxed me when you was online saying that nigga broke, he a weirdo, he this, he that, would you have boxed me? I'm going to be honest. Chris been saying that he wanted to box Clarence a long time ago when he was still in the basement. I'm not taking up for either side, but Clarence, the answer is yes. He would have boxed you back when you was in the basement. <laughs> He's boxed people who weren't anybody before okay they might have been a female but you know what I'm whatever the case may be like you said his hands are bisexual all right it's kind of okay we, we kind of get that at this point right so with that being said i'm pretty sure he would have no problem boxing you whether you was in the basement in the attic in the swimming pool or in the taj mahal chris has always wanted to box you clarence all right, I'm going to end the video there. Y'all let me know in the comment section down below how you guys feel. He answers this question by saying, no, you wouldn't. And with that being said, Clarence was like, I'm not, now that we switch roles, we have a role reversal, and I'm doing better than you financially, I'm not finna stoop down to your level and fight you. But what Clarence doesn't understand is Chris would have fought him no matter what level he was on. 
whether he was in the basement, in a chair, in his underwear. I'm pretty sure Chris would have fought Clarence. Let me know if I'm tripping, y'all. Okay? I'm not siding with either or. I fuck with both of them. I hope both of them live a long life of abundance, wellness, wealth, love, success, everything that they wanted more. I want these both, both of these gentlemen, both of these black kings to do well in life. Okay? To continue to prosper. And also lead a life of love. Be internally happy. First and foremost. First and foremost. Shout out to both of these wonderful, fine young gentlemen. All right? But I have to say, once again, that I believe Christopher Sales would have fought you, whether you were in the basement, whether you was in the trap. Meet me in the trap is going down. All right? Anyway, guys, let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. I'm about to have a wonderful motherfucking Friday. I'm about to turn up. I'm about to turn up on my kombucha. If y'all did not know, I have not been drinking. I've been alcoholist for about a month and a half maybe two months trying to see how long i can go you know getting clarity peace of mind working on myself you know what i'm saying fighting my inner demons okay and shit like that going through my fundamental darkness and i'm just you know what i'm saying i feel like we should all be working to improve ourselves you know but yeah i'll probably have me some kombucha that's fermented alcohol with black tea ginger tea a whole bunch of good stuff probiotics and shit like that just stuff to make my body feel good to make my soul feel good but anyway guys let me know what your plans are i love you guys so much man i will see y'all in the next one peace here we out baby